But here's my Christmas present to you. If you know where Mr. Grace is, Andres, if you dial Crime Stoppers 1-800-226-TIPS, we'll give you cash money. Cash money, okay? And he goes to jail for Christmas. What a Howdy, y'all. Honky T here. Uh, this here video is the, the rest of that one I posted yesterday. I just gave you the preamble because it's kind of long. So what I've done is I've just uh, given you the important parts out of this here one. And uh, it's all about the quality of life in your community. And you can see here uh, how it has improved in this county by taking these people off the streets. Now, the problem is these people all have multiple felonies and uh, misdemeanors and you know most of them have done very little time in jail for all the sins they have committed against their communities and uh, I think it's time that these liberal uh, judiciary systems uh, they start tightening up on these types of people because they just ruin the lives of everybody else and that they deserve a right to have a peaceful life anyways here y'all go enjoy Jack so let me introduce you to Larry Denald Larry's 49 years old. He's not a kid. He's from Fort Meade. He lives in Fort Meade. You'll see a common trend here. He's not employed in the traditional sense, making money. He has a history of 26 felony arrests, 18 misdemeanor arrests. We arrested him, for example, in 2012 for trafficking in hydrocodone and sale of cocaine. He was trafficking in these drugs, minimum mandatories, but he pled down and got probation. Well, he had four violations of probation, and finally he went to prison about 2017. He was released from a short prison stint on what started his probation. That's right. He did 696 days in the county jail. The state prison gave him credit for that when he was sentenced for his last violation of probation. Now think about it. He got a probation when he should have got a minimum mandatory. He had four violations before he accumulated time in lockup. And then he, would, he did some jail time, and then he was released. You would think he would learn, but he doesn't learn. We have rearrested him for sale of cocaine and sell of methamphetamine. That's his job. His job is to deal drugs. His job is to make things ugly in the community. His job is to set a bad example. Our job is to make sure he goes to jail. And that's our Christmas present to him. And our Christmas present to the people in the community is that. He's locked up, and you're not going to have to worry about him on the street corner trend. Willie Dunlap III, he's 43. These aren't kids. He lives in Fort Meade. What's his employment? Um, drug dealer? That's right. He doesn't have a job. He's a drug dealer. He has six felonies in his history, seven misdemeanors. He's been to prison one time. So we've got him for cell synthetic cannabis. Three counts of sale of methamphetamine, three counts of sale of cocaine, and oh, by the way, he's got a firearm possession and a sale of drugs in his history. Does he have traditional employment? No, because heck, if he was working today, it would be hard to aggravate the neighbors or sell drugs all up and down the streets in front of their houses. Then there's Cherika Anderson. She's what, 32 years of age. She's from Fort Meade. Uh, does she have a job? Meh. Nope, she doesn't have a job either. But she is getting federal assistance. That's right, when you go to work and pay taxes, she gets money from the federal government so she can stay home and commit crime. So what's her history? Nine felonies, 120 three misdemeanors. Did you hear what I said on the eve of Christmas Eve? 
123 misdemeanors in her criminal history. She's never been to prison, but she's been to the county jail many times. She's what they call that low-level, nonviolent offender. Forgeries, thefts, more forgeries, more thefts, retail theft. She is just a menace to the community. Whenever she's out, she's being a pain in someone's rear end. Then there's Larry Criswell. On the 31st of December, he'll be 40. He's 39. Once again, no kids. Where does he work? Meh. He doesn't work. You see, but he gets federal assistance. So he can sit at home in Fort Meade and uh, sell drugs. History, 15 felonies, 17 misdemeanors. He did 16 years in prison for DUI manslaughter. And he was released in November of 2019. That's right. And we arrested him less than a year later for three counts of sale of meth and one count, count sale of alprazolam. That's right. How much did that teach him? Didn't teach him anything. Gets out, doesn't work, been in prison for 16 years, taking his federal assistance and selling drugs in the neighborhood. Jermaine Phillips, he's 33. Fort Meade is where he lives. He claims that he works for a transport company moving people to private appointments. He's got five felonies, eight misdemeanors. He pled guilty to three years for trafficking in meth and was released in August of 2020, August 6, to be exact. All right, listen, I don't want you to miss this. Less than 90 days later, we're buying drugs from him on the streets. He was just released less than 90 days earlier for selling trafficking amounts of drugs, and we're arresting him again. Two counts of sale of cocaine, two counts of sale of meth. Less than 90 days. Jermaine Phillips. And then there's Dwayne Reynolds. He's 52. Fort Meade. Where does he work? Nah. Doesn't work. He receives federal assistance, EBT, so that he can stay at home and be arrested for, in this case, possession. Oh, but let's look at his criminal history. 59 felony charges, five misdemeanors. He's been to state prison five times going back to 1987. He was last released from state prison 18 months ago, and he's in possession of drugs again. Here's David McCutcheon from Fort Meade. Where does he work? Nah, he doesn't work. He's got a history of two felonies, four misdemeanors. We charged him with three counts of sale of cocaine this time. That's right. His job is to sell drugs on the streets of Fort Meade. Now, you may recognize the name McCutcheon. His cousin by marriage, Petrina McCutcheon, who was a wonderful member of our sheriff's office working in human resources, and she's retired, is currently a city commissioner. That's her cousin by marriage. What an inspiration for the family. You've managed to embarrass your cousin by marriage, Petrina. You've managed to embarrass the McCutcheon family, which is a wonderful name and a wonderful family in Fort Meade. Many of them are my dear friends, but you don't work, you sell drugs. Of all the cases that our detectives made, I was surprised we found all but one of them. This is the dude we want. Andros Grace, or Andros Grace, or just Mr. Grace. He's 35. He claims he washes jobs, he's, or washes cars for a job, He's from Fort Meade. He goes by the nickname of Kojo. He's hiding from us, and that terribly disturbs us. 
it crushes our heart. We're trying to give him a Christmas present by locking him up in the county jail, and he's being elusive. Because, you know, we want him for sale of cocaine. He's got a history of four felonies, five misdemeanors. But here's my Christmas present to you. If you know where Mr. Grace is, Andres, if you dial Crime Stoppers 1-800-226-TIPS, we'll give you cash money. Cash money, okay? And he goes to jail for Christmas. What a perfect solution. He gets locked up like he should. There are people all around the country and legislators in Florida saying these are low-level, nonviolent crimes. And we shouldn't even arrest people for this. Ladies and gentlemen, you're forgetting who your audience is. Your audience are the good, hard-working people that need to be left alone, that need to be able to allow their children to play in the streets without watching these guys that I've pointed out sell drugs on the streets. These are quality of life crimes and people have the right to be safe and secure and happy and content. And these people have no right to violate the peace and tranquility of the community. Well, there you go, my friends. Uh, now, as you can tell from those references, you probably heard about Christmas. This was put out uh, December 23rd by the Sheriff's Department. And uh, I'd have got it up a lot sooner, but weren't for the uh, CCP uh, taking away my rights to free speech. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to be that dead horse anymore, neither. We all know what the rights that we have in this country are going out the window. So, anyways, I hope you all had uh, a good uh, look at these types of people that are in your neighborhood as well. Don't you think they aren't? Anyways, it's not other people's problems. It's all our problems. So, you all get a chance. Y'all could like, subscribe, and share. I'd appreciate it. And if y'all like this video, here's the links to some other ones that I've done in the past. I hope y'all enjoy them too. And while you're doing all that, you have a blessed day. You take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.